Have you been trying to keep up a hula hoop around your waist? Does it feel like it's a bit hopeless? If you're getting a bit frustrated and you're not sure what you're doing wrong, in this video, we're going to fix all that. By the end of this video, you're going to be spinning your hula hoop effortlessly. This is the beginning of your shiny new fit chapter. In a couple of minutes, you will be able to go and show the whole world your shiny new skill. Let's learn to hula hoop and let's decide you will be absolutely awesome. Normally I don't really like lists, but they do make it easy to find if we're doing anything wrong or if we could do something differently. I'm going to take you through a checklist to make sure that we covered everything and we're going to identify what could be the problem. First of all, mindset. Sometimes when we're frustrated, we have a lot of tension. My background originally is osteopathy, so I know about the body and I know that your body excretes hormones. Basically you're saturating all your cells of your body in this cocktail of hormones, chemicals, compounds that can help your joints to glide easier and help to break down tension and allow movement freely. But they may also mean that you will have restrictions, there will be no gliding and your muscles will feel tight. Before we even do anything with your hula hoop, what I would love you to do is that with my help we will stimulate your body to produce helpful hormones. It's okay if it doesn't happen immediately and there's no rush and you can take your time. Have some compassion. If this is not something that you've been doing for a long time, it's alien for your body. Give it some time to figure it out. It is also possible that you have some tension, some tightness, maybe from a past injury, from any experience over the last few years that you've been on the planet for. Maybe there's a reason why it is a little bit harder for you than for someone else. We never know, but we're going to find it all out. We're going to work on it and we're going to fix it. And this hula hip is fantastic. It's not an enemy. It is basically a diagnostic tool. It teaches you about your posture, about tensions, and also lack of connection. If you've been disconnecting, for example, from different body parts, your hula hoop is going to teach you that. So basically your hoop is like a little doctor, like your physiotherapist. It's going to teach you a lot about your body. This is your chance to make fun discoveries. And at the same time, you will also get a firming, toning massage, and you will get sweaty because this is also cardiovascular exercise. So it's going to get you super fit. If you're excited enough, then let's go for the checklist because the mindset, I think, is check. Most of the time the reason why people can't keep up a hula hoop is because the hoop is not the right size and weight for them. So if you're not sure about what hoop is best for you, I do have the video in the description and do check that out. Let's say your hoop is fine and it's the perfect size and weight. One more thing I would mention about the hoop, it helps if the hoop is not naked. A naked hula hoop is a hoop without any tape on it. My hoop, as you can see, has some colorful tape. It's not just because it looks cool and I like colors, but it's also because it improves grip. So if your hoop doesn't have any tape on it, I would go and find some fabric -y tape. We call that gaffer tape, uh, but any brand will do. It should just feel fabricy, and that will have better grip, so it's less likely that your hoop will slide down. And although for your hula hoop to be naked is not great, but for you to have some skin exposed is super helpful, because if you let your hula hoop spin over skin, that will improve your grip. If it's possible, I do recommend that you expose some skin where you want your hula hoop to spin, so that it will have some better grip. I also recommend that you take shoes off. That will allow your toes to stretch out and that always improves balance. That will help you with your movement and your rocking. Before we even start spinning, the most important thing is that our posture is correct for hula hooping. If you're leaning forward, your hoop is going to keep going down. People like to watch the hula hoop, but watching your hoop doesn't make it stay up. Staying upright makes it stay up. At all times while you're hula hooping, try and look somewhere high up instead of looking down. This toy gives us no permission to have bad posture. So we always have to be tall and hold our head high. Now you're looking high up and your posture is awesome. 
Let's give that hoop a push. How do we get it spinning? When you want to spin a hula hoop, it's important that it touches you. I like to make sure it's touching my waist in the back because if it has a contact point with your body, then it's not going to immediately fall down. Arms relaxed, slightly bent with lots of wiggle, lots of range of motion. We need to make sure that the hoop is straight. If your hoop is at a funny angle, hanging down one side, even in the front, that's going to make your hoop go weird and wonky. So we want to make sure that it's as horizontal as possible. If you're not sure about how horizontal your hoop is, try and find a mirror, a reflection, because that way you can check if your hoop is straight. We're going to be twisting to help and generate momentum. And this time you can already start experimenting and seeing which way feels better. We all seem to have a preference and some of us are clockwise, some of us counterclockwise hula hoopers, depending on whether or not we push to the left or the right. I do recommend that you give it a try a couple of times without any attachments. It doesn't matter what's going to happen. Give your hula hoop a couple of pushes both ways and see which one feels less alien. So now we identified which way you like to spin your hula hoop. We're going to try and give it a powerful push. If someone can't hula hoop because of their launch, it's because of the angle or because it's not a powerful enough push. So what I would like you to do is you visually check if it's straight and then when you give it a push, it should be powerful enough so that it carries on spinning around you even if you're not moving about. So let's give it a push and even if I'm not moving, it will still carry on spinning a couple of times. And you can just catch it with your hands when it feels like it's slowing down. You will get better and better the more you try. Now that we had a go at launching the hula hoop, we're going to try and see what is the movement that actually keeps it going. What do you need to do with your body to spin the hoop around your waist? And for that, I actually do have an exercise for which you do not even need your hula hoop. Sometimes I would use a charger for this exercise or you can just have a long sock and a ball or a piece of weight and maybe a peg or something. The whole point is that there should be a piece of weight, so the charger or the ball in the sock, that we're going to try and bounce off our tummy. This is helpful because it takes the stress away. The hoop can fall down, of course, but this, because it will be attached to you, it's not going to be falling down at all, but it will teach you to generate enough momentum. It will activate your glutes. Because it's not just your hands where the powerful pushes come from, but to keep the hip going, it will be coming from the glutes. If you move one leg forward, that increases your range of motion and it will make it easier. So let's measure your thrusting powers. You can just tie your charger around your neck or if you choose the sock you just clip it or peg it to your outfit and your goal is to have the weight so the ball hang around the level of your belly button. It doesn't look very scientific but it is a training aid that we actually do use even in gymnastics not just body works and the goal is to learn to bounce this off your tummy by moving front and back. And this thrusting movement is what is going to keep your hula hoop spinning around you once you will do this move with the hoop. And this exercise teaches you to move front and back, but with the hula hoop you can move side to side, front and back, or even around a circle. So there's many ways to get hula hooping right and to keep up a hula hoop, but it takes the confusion away. If you're being told to just move front and back, that's easy. If your posture is not good and you're pulling yourself away from the ball, you're not going to be able to bounce your hoop off your tummy. So this is the movement that it takes for your hula hoop to stay up, thrusting forward from the hips. Many people think they are exercising their abs while they are hula hooping, but mostly it is your glutes and your lower body that you're using to keep a hula hoop going. We can give the hula hoop a try. We are going to go through the whole checklist that 
we have been building up until now. Posture. We try and look up instead of down. That way, we are definitely going to have the best posture for hula hooping. The hoop is touching you on the back. Your hands are nicely relaxed. Holding onto the hula hoop, you will be prepared to twist whichever side you like. That's the way you launch it. There's no rules. You cannot go the wrong side. Make one step forward. You relax your knees because that also helps with range of motion. You're going to be using your glutes, so you remember the bouncing of the ball. Now we're going to prepare to give it a push so powerful that it spins around us even if we don't move much. We try and focus on when the hoop is hitting the tummy because that's when we want to bounce that ball. You can't bounce the ball if it's not touching your tummy, if it's somewhere in the air. You can only give it a push if it's touching. So you're trying to focus on the hula hoop touching you. Remember that you don't have to watch your hula hoop and is it spinning? Are you hula hooping? I hope you are. And look how much the universe loves you. If you want, you can take a screenshot of this and have this in front of you while you're practicing. Is it staying up yet? Are you feeling like a superhero? Still dropping it sometimes? Never matters. I still drop it too. Do let me know in the comments below. I read all of the comments and look, I've got your first workout. So if you want, you can already start learning the basics with me. You'll be awesome. Let's go.